Hey friends, in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said this about the issues of the heart. Okay, and in Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 through 30, he said this. You've heard that it was said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It's better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, throw it away. It's better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. Now, what's he saying there? What's he saying? Should we all walk around as amputees? I, I think not, right? Because, uh, you know, if we just you know, lop off our hand or foot or our eye or something like that. Uh, we, if, if sin's in the heart, we've got serious problems, right? I mean, if it's just these external laws that we can obey, you know, I've never killed anybody, committed adultery, you know, those kind of things. But if it's matters of the heart, cer certainly, you know, Taking somebody's life is worse than just being angry at them, but, but anger is the root of murder. Lust is the root of adultery. And I think what Jesus is saying is be ruthless with sin. And, and we've broken the command, even if we haven't externally, overtly, explicitly broken it, but if within our heart, you know, we've nourished and nurtured the sins and, and the desires which, which flower in those worse evidences of sin. So anger, lust, all those break the commands, all those are sin. We desperately need a Savior, don't we? And, and we need to be ruthless with sin, uh, doing what we can to think and to reflect on with the help of the Holy Spirit, place ourselves in positions where we're not... Uh, in sin's uh, kind of parlor, as it were, right? Playing around and toying with sin. Take it seriously. Run, flee like Joseph did. Uh, fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him, right, endured the cross. So say no to sin. Say no to sin, self, and the devil. And seek to serve and to honor and to love and obey and bring glory to his name uh, in all that you think, say, and do. Be encouraged.